comment, subscribe, man. Let's get to it. It's pretty late right now. I was watching some some shit with Cali Muscle with this nigga recording himself while he sleep. That shit was funny as hell. I couldn't watch no more of that shit. <clears throat> but shout out to him anyway. That's what you call making money in your sleep. Man, I want to talk to y'all about some other shit I saw. And this shit right here, you know, in my opinion, is pretty wild. And I've been thinking about this a long time, and I, and I figured it out. I think I figured it out. I saw some shit with Charleston White. I never wanted to talk about this motherfucking dude, because everybody talks about him and whatever. I know what he's doing, you know what I mean? Gang recognize gang. I know what it is. Cool. But this nigga got the whole goddamn, seemed like the whole United States, the whole world in up uproar. This is a little con artist. Yeah. This little motherfucker caught us. I don't care about none of that shit he be talking about. About helping motherfuckers and this. Nah. You do it. You, motherfucker doing too much. Running game. This shit all about money. Motherfuckers don't realize that. But anyway, he supposed to be having a boxing match. Now, you motherfuckers really finna pay some money to watch this nigga fight like he a professional. Him and the other nigga, Sean, Sean Cotton from Say Cheese TV. I ain't got no problem with this dude. But I'm just saying, oh, the fuck y'all look like paying money to see these niggas fight for? That's just like watching a, a regular nigga street nigga fight. Who gives a fuck? Especially a little motherfucker that's like 110 pounds with one eye. Who, who give a fuck about watching him fight? I mean, seriously? This nigga's a goddamn drug baby. You motherfuckers don't see that? Yeah, I said it. It's like I'm the first motherfucker to, to say some shit like this. At least that's what, from my knowledge, I ain't heard nobody say no shit like that. Nobody want to call it, nah, hell no. This is a grown ass little man. He wear little clothes. He's he, a little nigga with a big head. Something was wrong with his vision for some reason. Motherfuckers just ain't born like that for nothing. Or our sight just go out or whatever. Something happened. I put the projects. I know a motherfucker drug baby what I see was. I got a lot of motherfuckers I to grew up around look just like his ass. And guess what? They was drug babies. This nigga's a drug baby too. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I don't give a fuck what he say. He, he he don't know. He wasn't even born yet. So how the fuck would he know if he was a drug baby? Yeah, he's a drug baby. And if you motherfuckers don't know that, that's on y'all. Y'all follow this nigga around like he got damn uh, Peter Pan or something. Dude. I, just a bunch of, I just be like, damn, motherfucking for real. A goddamn drug baby that tricked the world. That simple. Now, a nigga might be into activism and all that shit. I, I'm into all that. Anybody that got some hardness in their right mind should be into that kind of shit. But I know buffoonery when I see it. I know clown shit when I see it. Can't be able to act no goddamn clown talking about you an activist. Nah, hell no. I want to hear shit you got to say. But that got me off of what I was originally finna talk about. Him and that nigga, he finna uh, fight. They get into it in front of the uh, little event. So I was walking in the front. Calling him Rat Williams and all that shit. 
He says the nigga pulled the blade out. No, I didn't see the blade, but he had his hand inside the bag. And the nigga was like, you got something. He was like, yeah, I always keep something. So they go through that little scenario. Now they wind us up inside the event. You know how boxers do the little standoff or whatever. Oh boy, come in there. <coughs> with a goddamn little blue swap meet short set on. With all kind of little bullshit designs on it. He come in there looking crazy. Charleston White come in there with a, 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 a baby boxing outfit on. Man, fucking, man, motherfuckers is weird. Motherfuckers laughing at his ass. I guess he don't give a fuck he getting paid, but. Hey, you know how niggas stand off. So the nigga pushed the shit out this nigga. I mean, he like he almost pushed the soul out his ass. This nigga Charleston White come back up. I think he gonna fire on the nigga or something. You know what this nigga do? This nigga got some goddamn boxing gloves, little, little, little gloves, not with no pads, look like little gloves with the fingers cut off, with built-in goddamn pepper spray in the motherfucker, and he sprayed the nigga. Like some shit, I, oh, some shit off of TV. I ain't never seen no shit like that before in my life. And the nigga, he sprayed, took off running to the back, he done burnt the shit out this nigga eyes, and he like in the front, like, yeah, 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 you know how this nigga be talking, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, nigga, what? You talking about he assaulted him? Nigga, you you know how many niggas I done seen get pushed in a, a damn boxing st standoff before the fight? You did some weirdo shit. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I don't give a fuck what that nigga was gonna beat the shit out you. That nigga go beat the shit out you. If you even fight the nigga. Might be a bunch of bullshit, but that's that was some bullshit. You gonna spray a nigga the eye. You come in there ready for the bullshit with the little gloves on. You ready to spray the nigga anyway. Motherfucker really take you seriously. This the same nigga that's running around with the raggedy ass dreadlocks. Dirty as a motherfucker. Boy, it's, a, boy, it's amazing what a little buddy will do to you. That should have cleared the nigga up and make you look all right, huh? Charles the White. Huh? How about Charles the Drug Baby White? That's a, I think that's a better one. That nigga's a drug baby. I don't even fuck with none of y'all say. Y'all might be like, well, it don't matter. Yeah, it do matter. You know why? Because drug babies got a goddamn chemical imbalance. I don't give a fuck how old they get. They drug babies. They have died much of that shit. They going through their system. They going through everything. That shit is just part of their life. That's why a lot of them motherfuckers be on medicine and all that other shit. It's in them. It ain't going nowhere. Whether y'all like it or not. <laughs> yeah. Tell me your boy from No Law TV said it. And I stand on it. Charles, ain't nobody scared. I'm surprised ain't nobody slapped shit out of his ass yet. That's the reason why they have it. I know down there in Texas, niggas be walking around with guns, so everybody got a gun. So, yeah, he probably would shoot a motherfucker or something, but any of the normal circumstances. Yeah, you ain't gonna win. You too little. <laughs> you like Cat Williams, you too little. I, I seen a little boy bend his ass up. Yeah, fuck him all up, so you ain't no different. And you got one eye. You you most definitely gonna get fucked up. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful night. I most definitely feel all right. I hope y'all feel all right, too. I'm just talking a little shit, man. It's Saturday night. I'm tired of watching other niggas on YouTube. Just decided to talk and vent. You know, I see a lot of bullshit be coming across the screen, so I just tap in and watch a little. Sometimes I get too distracted with watching that shit. But I know who to listen to, who not to. There's some blind-ass niggas over there. Lied ass niggas. 
Oh, yeah. I see what happened to that nigga Elba Fudd. Uh, nigga from Fresh and Fit. Ain't that his real name? But yeah. Y'all niggas are the stupidest niggas I ever seen. I didn't know y'all niggas was making all that money. You niggas was getting rich off of YouTube. <sighs> you niggas was getting rich. The wrong niggas getting the right money. And you dumbass niggas fucked it all up. You fucked it all up. You fucked up all that money. I wish all that shit come my way. We gonna get there. But it ain't gonna be built off no fucking lies. You niggas are a bunch of fucking lied ass niggas. Lied ass niggas. That's why your shit got shut down. They ain't get, you ain't making no more money. No more money. Huh. Damn, how you feel? Fucked up all y'all channels. Uh, see why that nigga was on there crying like a motherfucker. Talking about I like helping kids, but helping helping you guys are better. Yeah. Nigga, I'm going to help kids over grown motherfuckers any day. And I know you was on some bullshit because you was up there saying all that goofy shit. You were saying, lying like a motherfucker with some goddamn hoochie daddy shorts on. Low ass shorts on. Now, you niggas is crazy. Where you get low ass shorts from, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Not, not like that. You like, like your ass cheeks was hanging out the back of them motherfuckers. They were so little dumb ass nigga. And you got this old black ass nigga that sit over there with you with the big nose. He just look, you just look like you ain't never had no bitches. Neither one of you niggas. That's what a nigga got to do up on YouTube, huh? Tell you niggas a bunch of whole lot, a bunch of lies to make it, huh? Nigga can't be truthful and tell you the truth. All you niggas ain't gonna get no bad bitch. All you bitches ain't gonna get no rich nigga. You motherfuckers need to take Bishop Don Juan uh, some of his theories and notes. Like who like you. You can't be no ugly ass motherfucking nigga thinking you finna get no bad bitch and you broke. Don't work like that. It don't work like that. And you can't be no dusty ass bro. With a gang of kids, think you finna get a nigga with a whole lot of money. <laughs> it don't work like that. Why y'all think it do, I don't know. <laughs> Who told you that silly ass shit? You motherfuckers need to get your mind right, man. You motherfuckers watching too many motherfuckers on YouTube and they brain washing y'all ass and programming you the wrong way. Cause you see a nigga on TV, on YouTube with a nice car. He telling you, oh, yeah, uh, enter my raffles and you, and then, hey, he, you, I don't trust none of that shit no way. But these motherfuckers ain't being honest with y'all ass. They not being honest with you. Ain't you motherfuckers tired of being lied to? Everything comes at a cost. And when you say something about these niggas and call them out, you motherfuckers want to get mad and say something like, these niggas really give a fuck about any of you motherfuckers. You know, I, I, I trips off of that. Motherfuckers go crazy talking shit to motherfuckers in the comments for another nigga. That... Wouldn't spit on your ass if you was on fire. You motherfuckers donate money and do a whole lot of shit in it and, 
and the niggas you do all that shit for, just like preachers in the church, you can't go to the motherfuckers and get nothing. They're not going to give you nothing. You finna, you can have been donating to a motherfucker for five years straight and hit a nigga and tell me, yo, your rent due and you finna get put out because you ain't got it. You think that motherfucker ain't finna give you nothing? You motherfuckers don't think about that, huh? Well, I'm investing money into some shit. I can't get nothing back in, in return. I don't give a fuck what that is. I'm not investing money in nothing I can't get no return in. That's just simple. Y'all niggas out here. Let me tell you some real shit. Now, I wouldn't advise no young nigga to be fucking with no bra with no gang of kids. That ain't no no cool move. Nigga too young for that shit. You nigga too young for that shit. But I tell you what, if you a young ass nigga and you already got a gang of motherfucking kids already, and you run into a bra with a gang of kids. Why not? Why not? Just try not to get her pregnant. If she got her shit together, she just got a gang of kids. That's the only thing she got going. That's just a negative, but she got a employment, car, house. She got her own money. Don't ask you for nothing, but just some meat and spend time with her. Shit. And her kids ain't bad. Man, you can't pass that up. All women with kids ain't bad. And all of them don't have bad kids. Now, a lot of them motherfuckers do got bad-ass kids. But some of them just don't even know how to discipline their kids. They just get women with good hearts and got kids by no good niggas. And they don't want to whip on their kids and do all that other shit. They just don't know how to discipline them. Especially if they boys. You gotta have a male figure around, but yeah, a lot of these niggas be telling y'all don't don't do this and don't do that. They doing exactly that. Got a broad at the house. She got kids. None of the kids are his. He taking care of everything, but he online getting your money and your time, telling you lies, telling you don't do that because they know that's what you want to hear. expert man fuck all that I'm trying to stop cursing in my videos too but man fuck all that date expert niggas this shit is simple confidence all you need is some confidence man even you got ugly niggas got confidence out this world if you ain't got no confidence, the simplest thing for you to do is just get some money and go holler at a female. Not online, in person. You know, it was like that nigga shooting jump shots. You got to practice this shit. Go holler at these motherfucking bras in person. So what if they shoot you down? That's their loss. Man, it's a whole lot of women out there. One of them going to holler at you. It might not be the one you wanted. But it might be the one that wants you. Think about that one. Man, these niggas better stop being slow. Seeing all these video broads and all, man, that shit come with something. You don't want no bitch that look that good. You might think you do, but you, you don't want no bitch. To, every nigga in the world, just like you was on the broad, every nigga in the world go be on them. You got to pay for that. That, that. That's expensive. And why would you want to be with somebody that just wants you just because you got money or whatever? Yeah, I'm 
start. I'm, I need to do some lives, but I need to build up my subscribing base. You little young dudes. And you some of you old niggas, too. Game is just... I ain't gonna say game. You niggas just don't know how to talk to no women. That's just all that is. You don't know how to talk to no women. You niggas brush your teeth. Put some deodorant on. Don't be musty. Have you some nice shoes. Dress nice. Keep your appearance up, man. Put a little smell good on. Man, I, don't, I just don't get it. Why it's so hard for you niggas to get women? Why you niggas always constantly talking about getting women? What women are doing? What women want? I really, me personally, I don't give a damn. What they thinking about or what they want or whatever. I'm trying to get some paper. And that's all that matters. Niggas be concentrating on the wrong stuff. You know, damn, what them bros doing? They doing what they been doing. They doing what they was doing when I was a kid. They were doing what they been doing before I was born. They doing what they been doing since goddamn King Tut been around this motherfucker. They doing what they doing and they gonna keep doing what they doing. I ain't got that much time to be tripping off a motherfucker worrying about what they doing. I'm doing what I do. And if they come through and follow follow suit, cool. If not, then hey, that's they loss. Somebody gonna be smart and come along. And that gonna be they win. Until then, shit, I'm do what I do. Get this money. One thing I know, you get that money. Everything else you want will come right along with it. You can believe that. No lie.